Okay, last episode of the day. Let's hope it's a good one. I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> ah, destroy the Lithuanians. It's like the big blob before the true big blob. The Muscovites. We still need to be destroyed, horribly. Murdered, sliced, flambeed. Ottoman separatists. Stop it. Because I'm kind of happy that I can give them more land. Because they can't even handle what we gave them now. They haven't even caught Constantinople yet. That explains it. Kind of. How do you stuff that much unrest? Oh god damn it. You're not gonna be in their auto pants, are you? Which ideas did I choose? I should put that in the description from now on. I chose diplomatic, religious, and quantity. I wish I could have chosen influence instead of diplomatic and admin instead of quantity. But I didn't, so oh well. Oh freaking well. The past is in the past and can only be remedied by another run. And I want to see how far this run takes me. Especially since we actually do have a chance of world conquest here. And being this big this early kind of helps a ton. The fact that we are already eating at the Ottomans. But they never got really huge. The only big problem I see here is Muscovy. And even they don't, you know, represent this entirely huge overcomable burden. No, they just represent a bunch of wars. enough base for some manpower recovery which I think is the first thing we're going to take. So we need more men, that is clear. That and some more military tech so we can actually field our 30 stacks easily. So right now they have like unsupported territory everywhere. So what tech will it be? With? No, not what I need. I want supply. Oh, tech 17 until the next supply increase. Oh, the entirety of southern Lithuania is like free, open terrain. Nobody taking the reins here. So good. So good. How one is working on Danzig. I love it. Imperial Purge. <laughs> Yes, that sounds awesome. Also slightly evil. Hmm. 
if not entirely horrifically evil. Fear of the Crypto Cat, like ever since presented. Da -da -da. They must be put to trial, I think so. God damn, keep Crypto Catholics. They must all die. Because frack all of that tolerance of heretics. Heretics are the worst. Are a plague on mankind. Ah, just wonderful. I can just remove them slowly, since we actually do have the forts. Just stop them from doing any real harm. Villainous, finally! Their capital will fall to me. We want some more battles. Good, we made up for the one that we lost. Or that our little union partner lost. Teaching through Europe this early is a joy because we will not have to deal with as many horrendous castles. It's usually one of the biggest endgame time consumers. Now just sitting on the fort. But nope. The south is not even fortified at all. Also, hello there. Let's talk about sword and shield and why they should be inside of your skull. Both of them, in fact. Is that all that you've got? 15 stack, the rest is all the Swedish troops that somehow don't come down here for some reason. Where are the Swedish troops? It's kind of curious, isn't it? There's nowhere to be found. I don't have three. So forth. And that one flip.
Holy crap, yes. <laughs> Get myself some marshy march. Is there even any marsh down here? I think they changed that. Pretty sure there used to be marshland down here. Oh god, no more manpower. No more freaking manpower. I guess I know what I'm spending my money on. That's right, wellness. All the wellness buildings in the world. Hundreds, hundreds of manpower I say. Problem is, I don't think that we get the reimbursement for the lower level ones. Like it should be cheaper to build. Ooh. Hey there. It can be upgraded by another 2000 right there. That's a bunch of money spent already. Almost at 90% religious unity. Hell yeah. Of course, we'll only be satisfied once we reach 100. Okay, I think only will give us the ability to walk from our central land all the way out here to our Russian frontier. It will be beautiful. I can eat a whole lot of land here. Okay, cool. That'll be a wonderful addition to Galatia Volnia. Except, of course, they still need all of their cores back. First and foremost. I need to change it a little bit. These you need to go in. Let's maybe take out Kiev. Ah, too much. If you leave in Kiev and take out two others. No, that would just look awful. So, right, here in this channel, we are concerned with how things look. <laughs> More or less, I guess. Or 
Missions were successful. Wonderful. We almost run out of provinces to convert. Except, of course, the ones that are unconvertible. Which is apparently a shit ton. I wish it would tell you the date at which they become convertible right here. Instead of having to go to the uh, actual province and find the modifier. even can get to 90 in all of these it will take a 90% piece deal which I think I'll take We'll take it for a hundred with war reps. Not quite. Oh well, that's fine enough. And that is a lot of land for my little vassal. Yeah, but with an uprising he'll be fine. Just be one uprising or so. I really didn't know that bring royal ties is that cheap here. Holy crap. We're at 6 out of 6 diplomatic relations. It's beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, my minions. You can have all the royal marriages. Yes, my minion. Yes. <laughs> Six minions to let grow and to let prosper. Well, Hungary will probably be one of the first ones to go. It's, the, it's not quite the vassal hammer, but it's certainly something. You can make Toulouse eat a bunch of land. They will convert land for us as well. Just so nice. Wait, oh, it's Catholic zealots. No, you may not become Catholic. <laughs> I love it that we had first convert him to Catholic and then convert him to Protestantism. Like a real dick move. Uh, it seems fairly unlikely that we'll get uh, royal marriages and unions over people since we're already grey skin. So that might be a wash for that achievement, but we can certainly go for world conquest. I'll try very hard. Maybe I just want to start using uh, mostly mercenary armies. Since they could probably be large enough. Even with their cost attached. Especially if I get admin ideas. That third admin idea is a lot more important than it seems. Truce will be up this year. Still don't really have any good alliances. But they do have 60,000 troops. We have no manpower. 
Might be okay off. We have just built all mercenaries. Yay! <laughs> uh. Sure, we can. Antagonize all of our minions. Okay, impossible, 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 impossible. Mainly just impossible. I wanna get rid of it. There's no more conversion possible, I'm so sad. Sad onions. Those all mercenaries. <laughs> Disgusting a Protestant dictatorship. Of course it's Protestant. We ate the freaking Pope. There's no more benefit to staying Catholic. Well, except, of course, that we had those ideas, didn't we? Was he to have restitution or what? No, actually, never mind. I don't think we had any bonus papal influence ideas. The main problem was that Rome is such a freaking burden when you're Catholic. Like, it's just not worth it to have Rome in your pocket. Unless you're Italy. Which then fine. That's Italy I would completely and utterly have stayed Catholic. No, it's 1.12. It's the regular old patch that everybody else is playing. Well, not the patch. Not the beta patch. Because, ugh. I just don't like how the beta patch feels. Holy crap, we can do up, build all mercenaries again. Do it, do it now. We want more troops against France. Really? Why, what does it change? I mean, this one was very, very easy. Like, holy crap, it was easy. Why is the like gain so small now? Or what's the problem with becoming the HRE? Declare, 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 declare reconquest? No. Cleansing of heresy, of course. Well that sucks. I'm enjoying my grand oh, I enjoyed my grand gain. It would be really sad if you gained fuck all from... Let's just go and siege down Provence for now. We can like slowly feed it to our vassals here. Oh hello! Good day France! Guess what, I also have a two star general. Two star general to the rescue! Or a 30 stack of French. Didn't see that one. Of course I didn't see it. Could I have? At least those are all mercs. <laughs> ah. Hello there, mixed stack. How are you doing? And wouldn't it just take longer then? Because, I mean, the way of gaining it is essentially very easy. 
And for this thing here, it was just a matter of time. Even if we had half as much gained, it would still be just a matter of time. Well, I guess if you don't have the fifth reform by the time the revolution or reformation hits, it's kind of annoying. And if they removed some of the events, then yeah, they will become nearly impossible. Because the events is, or not the events, the missions is what makes it really easy. Getting some plus five imperial authority here, plus five imperial authority there. It's quite nice. Improve relations with the electors is the thing, I, I believe. Yay, 100% of the battles. It's not gonna last though. It's definitely not gonna last. Nice and easy to eat France. Wait, which exploration idea gives you the CB? The last one? Okay, never mind. I guess we'll just have to wait for advanced CBs until we actually get over here. Why don't we just take them from France? Okay. I guess I can blockade a little bit. How large is my navy comparatively? I know we have the largest army, but do we also have the largest navy? Yes, yes we do. Great Britain ain't got shit on us. Find this wonderful. Oh, we can convert something else. Yay! More 10 year timers have run out. Or is it like 20 years? Either way, we convert some more. We can convert. Um, yeah, you're gonna be working on that for a long time because there's a missionary seal. Why would he even choose one that he can't actually convert? I don't get it. Yes, yes, core. Core it all. Who needs competent vassals when you have your own freaking army? Love it. Destroy France before they become a real problem. Oh, hey there, 30 sec. Oh, almost none of the rebels are left. And we're just going for the last 15 minutes here. Before I'm calling it a night, I think. Oh, speed up. <laughs> Improve relations with everybody. Still influencing them. 
We don't need to influence anybody. Improving relations with my vassals will be nice. I'll get myself some sort of a bridge. So many. So few mercenaries available as well. I need more. I have 70,000 French around for some reason. I don't think these sieges matter at all. To matter a little bit. You can walk there because fuck you in France. You can just walk past this fort. Maybe they can't actually. Destroy the baguette. Destroy it! Uh, Intolerant society, what did that even do? Where is it? Oh, Intolerance starts heretics went down. Wonderful. Oh, just absolutely wonderful. Now you can stop being such twats and stop your freaking rebellions. Or not. I just don't wanna. Since my society is still very, very intolerant. At least we're just these up. I'll just click that one away. Stop and P2. Yes, they are. I think they have a ton of morale for some reason. Or not. Bye. Oh, it's perfectly well protected by whom, though? Oh, never mind. P2 is like right here, and Boron is right here. So you can't get there. The Siege of Paris is over. So is there hope for survival. Zig, let me introduce you to my hammer. It's made up of troops.
think we can still give it over. Uh, because, because it's their core. That's right. All the cores. They can't give this stuff over because, well, it's next to besiege territory. But as soon as we get this one, I'll be not an issue anymore. Hmm. Oh well. I'll fight him without a general. My masks might come in with a general. <laughs> Hopefully. Please. Or not. They just want to go die up there. There's almost no color change. There's a slight bit of a color change, but almost none. Lots of France been getting away without any conversions, really. Now that would have to be remedied. After that, we can declare an Aragon because we can have both his major land areas besieged. Which will be a plenty to peace out. And all we're doing now against France. Which is, oh god, a two year war and we can have 99 from France. That's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, I still need to get some sieges done. no other reason than we want to take 99% land, but we also want to give it to our vassals. There's no need for us to core anything in Europe. Gonna keep Provence alive for now. He might actually break his alliance with France, though. Wait a minute. I should be piecing out with him first. It makes a lot more sense. For peace, and all your alliances, and give me some money. <whistles> we ran away. As soon as he saw my armies approaching, he ran away. So similar. Then we need to get rid of Toulouse. Just too similar to those colors. We would have the same problem when we release Normandy, I think. Pretty sure they're also grey. So nice. I 
Love it. It's all beautiful and blue. Stop fucking around. No, oh, shoot, I gave it to the wrong person. Oh, let's fiddle around with this a little bit. Uncorable land. My favorite. Oh, hey. It's actually within naval range. Really? First change religion. Gonna make a core out of it later. Once we have changed religion here, we should have almost no more unrest. So we'll go down by 11. No, oh, France is no longer a valid rival. Why could that be? Is anything to do with us eating half their land? manpower now because we're no longer dealing with a ton of rebels. <laughs> Two more years. Now while we wait or specifically let's not wait. Wonderful we can cope with this little guy this time around. Let's not do a reconquest. Always the cleansing of error, CCB. It's just so much better. Oh, we can't co belligerent him. Too bad. It's just gonna be a little annoyance then. How many ships does he have? 60. Which means just not enough. Do we have any more ships somewhere? No, we only have to 105. <coughs> 318,000. Oh, I think that's enough. Enough to defeat most people. We're still second in the world. Why? How are we still second? Anyways, Aragon has 60,000 troops in total. Not bad, he's number two in the world. We must knock him down a peg. <laughs> we could get Britain as an ally. And hope for some disputed succession at one point. I think I like that idea. He somehow loves me. Let's utilize that for now. Who are your allies? Just Sweden? <laughs> 
Right? It's the heart of everything. Nothing can sh stop United HRE. I mean, everything else would essentially have been kind of nice, but it's not important. Not as important, or nearly as important as, you know, the original HRE territories, because you are the culture union of the strongest culture in the world, except maybe Chinese. Chinese can maybe compete with German development. But they don't start out as Western, so... I would still say that the Germans are by far the strongest in this game. Yay, more conversions. We haven't even done converting yet. Oh crap, we can take two things. Uh, what will we take? I think manpower recovery. And what else? Hmm... Take production efficiency. Or, of course, national unrest would trade. Just love. Absolutely love. The Platinet and Byzantines. Europe is broken. Yes, they are. And our vassals are essentially just, you know, they don't matter. They they just can grow essentially as big as they want. I think Catalonia is gonna grow soon here. As we declare the war on Aragon. Portugal, Provence, and Aragon. No problem. Huh, huh. Of course, it doesn't stand a chance, especially since the German region is. Essentially, right at two very important trade centers. Actually, three. Because while Lubeck is not an end node, if you control it, and if you, just, you know, you can't get into the English Channel, but you control Lubeck, you still make about as much money as anybody controlling the English Channel. If you control both of these, then you make the real money, because mostly half of the money from the, that the English Channel gets comes from somebody that controls Lubeck. Like right now. Half the money that goes into England is in Lu comes from Lubeck. So yeah. And Venice is not German, but it's adjacent to German, so... Germans just have very easy access. So yeah, strategic position all the way. Oh, we haven't declared war yet. Damn it! I want to declare war. Declare war with the right CB, the one and only, the cleansing of heresy. <laughs> Europe is broken, and our aggressive expansion isn't even that bad yet. We build all of our mercenaries again. I think mercenary armies will do the trick here. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Is this a prestige investment? What do you mean? But yes, yes, I know what you mean. That's okay. We'll get there. It will actually annex them fairly soon. It's not gonna be ages and ages until they annex. That was over here, okay. Oh, 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 Jerona is actually Flatlands? You, my friend, chose the wrong province to defend in. Yes, that's right. Conversion was successful. You mean like this right here? <laughs> But I do agree that we should probably focus outside of Europe right now and start conquesting. But for that I would really, really love to get myself some admin. Because this and overseas is kind of cool, but you need the admin to really make it worthwhile. Block off Persia somewhere? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I oh, don't know. QQ has lost all of his cores. <laughs> QQ essentially doesn't exist anymore. So sad. But that's the way Horde goes. Or Hordes go. Must we still an Eastern bastard? Yes, you are. Good job. Remain Eastern and we'll all be happy. I'm thinking maybe I want to annex Galicia Volnia. This over here is already distant overseas, which is great. Okay, get me another general. Wonderful. Into the flatlands we go. No cannons, but who cares? Can I follow them? No, we can't. Boom. <laughs> I forgot Prussian ideas. Russian ideas don't matter at this stage. Oh yeah, that's right, I was still choosing another thing. I'm not sure if I want... I mean, manpower recovery speed we already got. Production efficiency would be kind of nice, I think. Since we're Germany, we should be making a ton on production. Well, actually we're making more on... our taxation, which is kind of surprising. I thought we would be making a lot more on production. Increase that production, then. <laughs> hmm. oh, yes, all the manufacturers. Why? Because we can. They'll pay off eventually. Let the money flow in the future. Technically, gold is production too. Yeah, I know. I mean, every single gold province essentially retracts from your, or detracts from your production income, because of course it's one province that only gets gold and um, tax income. So essentially, this production doesn't count towards any production income. Sadly. But speaking of gold, we could be upping the production here. Boom! Another duck. <laughs>
<laughs> Built it everywhere. Manufactories, 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 because we can afford them. Being able to afford all these manufacturers will be helping us out in the future, I think. I'd much rather go for manufacturers right now than to go for more advan expensive advisors. I just think the money's really gonna hit at home. <laughs> oh, we actually gained some power? Any downside to it? Is there any downside to getting the air on the Polish throne other than, of course, because if that's the case, I might just keep them around as a one province miner <laughs> and keep on getting my air on their throne because why not? Eh, Rod Stevens, who cares? Who gives enough shits to care? No, our navy is being engaged. So terrible. Um. No, well, that is kind of annoying. Oh, yes, they do. Because all of the manufacturing goes both into production income and into the trade node. Yep, part of the reason why this is so freaking rich. And we'll become even richer once we get more more different manufacturers going. We'll be wealthy beyond measure. So I do think that it's absolutely worthwhile. I still haven't selected. I got distracted. Again. We won't soon won't need the missionary strength anymore. And well, stronger armies are kinda nice, but I think the extra income. What will actually really drive me here? With the lot with the new dev system, I think the new dev system is a lot better. Or you mean like the one that they have in the beta, or the one here? Because I think in the one in the beta, it's so much better to improve your stuff now because before it was kind of excessively expensive like holy crap improving uh, any like small province was essentially impossible and big provinces were still just gonna be the big ones but in the new system you can easily get a like small province as long as it's you know in favorable terrain and really turn it into like this massive capital or something like that because it's not based on previous development anymore. But just mainly on development level. Oh, ideas going? Well, right now we are still just waiting for the next idea slot. We're not gaining too many points though because our king sucks. He sucks monkey balls, to be precise. You don't know about beta? Well, again, they changed it around in beta so it becomes essentially cheaper to develop stuff.
<laughs> and we'll give it all to Rusnagol. Rusnagol! Hmm. Yes, yes, we, we. You will get a hundred percent of the enemy lands. Damn it. Would have loved to release Leon, but maybe I'll release Navarra. I feel like releasing another vassal. Because if I feed it all to one guy, he'll probably get a lot of problems with converting everything, everything being the wrong religion and such. I just made it annoying because at the beginning they said that you could, you know, make any province into a big one and then just like, well, if you're willing to sacrifice, you know, tons of tech levels because like one that starts with 111 is going to cost you like a million freaking points to develop. See where you're going. Can I get there? Can I get there? Can I get there? Can I get there? I might be too late. Still want to get there though. Even if I'm too late, just go in there. With extreme prejudice. Oh, come on. Stop running away prematurely. I guess maybe I could feed some of Provence away, but he's not a co belligerent, so be insanely expensive. I really don't want to give them more land. That's because Lumi should have some cores. So actually, never mind. Feeding them would be just fine. Ah, ah wonderful. Yeah, 1700 and then just a little bit later you just get this massive spike. The last hundred years of the game you can just frantically expand and it's just insane. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. But it also means that a lot of players don't really get to experience this like... There's like an entirely different game almost. Like it's the end game but it's it feels so insanely different from the rest of the game. Since then it's just like multiple wars and you're just essentially trying to manage your limit any anymore. Like So yes, the admin efficiency at the end of the game is kind of insane. The way it just spikes. I wish it was a gradual increase. Not like an earlier increase, but a gradual increase. So you can like ramp up to the insanity and not just like, okay, insanity has started. Oh my god, insanity intensifies for the like tech 27. Well, I think a more gradual increase would make sense, would make even more sense. But I guess they're trying to go more for a Napoleonic kind of 
type deal where you can actually take the land like Napoleon would have at the end of the game. I have no diplomats to send. I'll have to remedy that. So how are our vassals doing? Oh, they're still all fine. I think have only a little bit uppity, but he still has his 38 events. Events and decisions. Events, events and decisions. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Hmm, I might just take one myself. Well, it's one option, but I just enjoy my ideas too much. I really, really want, you know, to keep on gaining more ideas. Also, crap. Military points capped. Promise for myself. I would really love to finish this siege. <laughs> Almost sneezed there. Develop Vienna. <laughs> Never. Vienna is not even my capital anymore. <laughs> my capital is now up in Utrecht. You know how historic. Like the the Holy Roman Empire in, in the Dutch lands. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all of that accepted culture. That's the real strength of my empire there. Everything else is just kind of attached. So we have to gain a few more provinces. Here's one. Poland still has a whole bunch that we need, and Riga still exists up there. There's a province that's even better to develop. Actually, it's just about the same. Easy to develop, amazing province. That is on the right trade node for massive, massive income. Well, Genoa would also be the right one, and Vienna. I think disputing this one is actually quite nice. Oh crap. There's always one culture we shall never accept. <laughs> I think there's a bunch of cultures I just can't accept, really. Like, even if I want to, I can't accept anything outside of German. But that's alright, because German is a big enough culture group that it can carry me through the game. Especially if I get everything converted. Once I get everything to be beautiful and blue, 
This deep, wonderful blue. <laughs> I do tend to go Protestant. <clears throat> I've noticed that in almost every single game, I go Protestant. <laughs> okay, Quizim in there. Where is it, Quizim? Quizim, 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 Quizim. Is that Quizim? There it is, Quizim. Yes, yeah, Kazimov. Or Quizim. <laughs> German culture only culture yeah no that almost got your time out there <laughs> can't accept such vile behavior we have a lot of valid cultures here <laughs> or not <laughs> 